So you may have used a function called sum if. What that allows you to do is total up some figures like these based on the criteria for this or perhaps this or one of these other columns. So you could total up these figures, say, based on just 2013 or perhaps just on one of these items such as an iPair or a Rogue or a Zoom. However, what if you want to total this up based on, say, the Zoom and all those sold in 2013 and perhaps in the month of November? Well, for that, you need a function called sum ifs. So we're going to do that just down the bottom here. I'm just going to select that cell and I'm going to go to my insert function, which I can do just by clicking here. Or I could go into my formulas. I could choose insert function from here instead or I can actually find it under Math and Trig and right down here there is actually a little bit further down is some ifs. So what I'm actually going to do is my insert function because you find that on all the versions of Excel going back quite a long time and also on the Mac it's in the same place. So let me click on insert function. It's here in the Math and Trig category. You know, you've got your categories here. So there's Math and Trig. It's right down here. If you can't remember categories, you can just simply type in some if, or if I do that, you'll actually see it comes up with all of those options and the related ones. So I'm just going to click on that and click on OK. Now my sum range is actually the figures here. So I'm just going to highlight those the criteria range, the first one. I'm going to base this on the year. I'm just going to highlight that. Now it has to be kind of the same amount of rows for this. You can't have a mismatch of, you know, like more rows here than here. So just watch that. The criteria, well, I want for 2013. And you can see it's already giving me an answer here, 14,350. You could make it greater than if you wanted to. And you'll see it's coming up with 8,900. The reason why it's changed a bit is because the greater than is not taking into account 2013. So if I wanted greater than and equal to, I would have to do that. So that would include 2013. And you can see the value has actually gone up there. You can't do equals and greater doesn't quite work. You can have less than, so you can use this for numbers. So less than would be that and less than and equals to would be that. You can have it as not equals to by just doing that. And in this case, it would just be 2014. However, I am just going to have 2013. You don't have to worry about typing in the quotes. You sort of put it in there for you. So it does that automatically. The criteria range, the second bit of criteria, and by the way, I can have up to 127 different bits of criteria. That would be quite a bit, but I'm sure there's someone out there who would find use for that. And you'll see that as I click in each of these boxes, it adds another one underneath. So let's look at the item here. I'm just going to highlight that. And again, it's going to be the same amount of rows. And the criteria for that, I'm going to put in the rogue. It's not case sensitive, but you do have to type it correctly. I did a little typo there. If I click back on any of those, you'll see that it's got 1,650 for items in 2013 based on the Rogue. So I'm going to click on OK and there it is right there. So I'm doing a quick look at this and I'm thinking to myself, is this actually correct? So I can see the cells here. It's not too much data. So you know if you highlight here, down in the bottom, it's got a sum of 1,650. That's not too bad. Um, but I could also, if I needed to, I could hold down the control and select another cell. But actually, that's all the ones I need to check against. And you can see that matches that identically. If it would have been something like the iPair, I could have highlighted that and that. And you can see it's adding those up in the corner. Just a useful check as you're getting to know a function. So that is the SUMIFS function.